guys, Mark the Bone here. How are you all doing? Right, today, um, got a new, new three string cigar box guitar from Mark the Bone Cigar Box Guitars. This is um, one I've just built. Um, this one's actually up for sale. This is at uh, £100 if anyone wants to buy it. Um, you can always go to my Facebook site, Mark the Bone. Uh, on Facebook, you can see all the other ones that I build, or just go to Mark the Bone Scarbox Guitars on Facebook, and then you'll see all the stuff I build. Um, so, if there's any interest in this one, so this one's going for 100 quid. Uh, this is the last style I'm going to be building with this type of box. These are um, old backgammon boxes, and um, this was the Blonde series. I've found another one, so I thought I'd make one more. Now, this guitar is slightly different than my normal builds. This is one of my normal ones with the fixed bridge, so forth, three string. But this one is slightly different. What I've done on this one, I've angled the neck back slightly. So there's a slight angle on the neck. I'm not using a fixed bridge, I'm using a raised bridge, as you can see there, with a fret wire there. And then I've got like, a hinge here for the, the strings, obviously tone and volume, a pickup single core pickup, six string single core pickup, um, black machine heads and a bolt on the tuck there, you can see that. And also on this one, the nut on this one is also a jumbo fret. So it's slightly different um, than what I normally do where I use a bone for the nut and a, a raised bri a fixed bridge there. So this is slightly different and it's amazingly it gives you a different sound. Um, it's also a lot lower action. I don't know if you can see that action there. So it's really, really for, for playing and not slide. You'd have to raise this up if you want to use it for slide. Unless you were very gentle, of course. I don't use a lot of slide. I do a lot of lap still. Um, but it's a really nice sound. It's um, basically a pine box with a beech neck. And I've used um, uh, an oak fretboard on this one. Uh, normal frets on it. Um, this is a 24 inch scale. Um, we've got the old famous skull and crossbones in there. Look at that, see that? The old skull and crossbones. Um, it sounds really, really nice. I'm not sure if you can hear that. That's, that's not, that's un, that's un, that's not plugged in. It's almost, it's almost got like a... Banjo-y sound. So it's really, really nice. It's so different. Um, and plugged in, I'm going through my trusty Vox. Um, little trusty Vox. So it's got a totally different sound. Totally different sound. It's, it's really, really nice. different sound. Um, I was quite surprised really. Um, maybe it's because I've got the raised bridge instead of a fixed bridge. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's got a nice sound to it. So I'm actually in the process of building another one. So, but obviously with a different box. Um, I've never done it with a slight angled back neck. Um, but it seems to um, it, it seems to be better than the straight necks. Um, and this is a slightly thinner neck compared to the old style, which is a more chunkier neck. But the sound, I mean, you can hear the difference in the sound. If I just now plug my normal one that I use. Slightly different sound. This is more bassier sound. Um, obviously because it's, maybe it's because of the bridge is higher there. And you're getting more resonance through the body because of the bridge on that one where this is just the normal, um, the Strat or Telecaster style bridge on that. 
Um, so yeah, I'm I'm amazed. It's it's so different in sound. But I'll finish this one off with some corners on it, as you can see there. But yeah, so it's a. So there you go. Um, this is sort of the last, as it were, of the Blonde series. Um, yeah, slightly different. Um, Say so this one's going for a hundred quid. So if you're interested in buying this one, or or buying one of my other ones, of course, um, go along to Mark Bone Cigar Guitars on Facebook and send me a message. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've uh, got a lot more um, tuitions coming up on the three string. And I'm going to do a few on the lap still. In fact, I'm going to be doing tomorrow a review of the Amberwood uh, six-string uh, lap still there. Because um, I've had a few requests, people going, oh, what's that you've got in the background? Well, that's my Amberwood. So, and, I ha and there doesn't seem to be any um, reviews on, on, on um, either Facebook or YouTube on the Amberwood. So I thought I should do a little review. So, coming up, it'd be the Amberwood. Um, don't forget to subscribe. So you can see more lessons and more guitars. Mark the bone, have a nice day. Bye for now.